Yo, what's going on guys? Call to Mush back at it with the top five best PC game deals of the week. Once again, a little bit late on this, but better late than never. And right now is actually a great time to make this video because the Humble Monthly Bundle just reset. And I definitely want to give a mention to that. So let's get started with number five. Number five, since I already mentioned it, let's talk about Humble Monthly. Last month, $12 got you XCOM 2 as well as a bunch of other games. And if you subscribe for Humble Monthly last month, you just got all the other games along with XCOM XCOM 2, which you got right away when you signed up. And if you did sign up, you made out like a bandit. A lot of good games in February's month, along with XCOM 2. There was Rise, Son of Rome, Abzu. But that month has come and gone, and now we have a new month. $12 will right away get you Total War Warhammer, which is very nice. Total War Warhammer is the latest game in the Total War franchise. It came out back in August, I believe. And I did not expect this game to be available for less than 30 or so dollars for at least six months. Six more months, that is, but now it's in the humble monthly. You pay 12 bucks, you get Total War Warhammer, and then the first Friday of March, the entire bundle will unlock and you'll get a bunch of other games. Humble Monthly every month has just been outstanding in my opinion. The game you get right away is obviously the best game because that's the one that's going to entice you to sign up. The rest of the games usually are pretty good. They're not as good as the one you get right away. But still, $12 for just Total War Warhammer is an absolute steal. And then you get a bunch of other games too. Humble Monthly is absolutely nuts. And this month showcases that once again. Just an absolutely insane service in my opinion. And by the way, if you do subscribe, you also get 10% off everything in the Humble Store. So it's a very nice service. When you compare it to the games you get with like PlayStation Plus and Games with Gold, Games with Gold is pretty good but Humble Monthly still blows that out of the water. Yes, it is a little bit more expensive, but the game quality is so, so, so much higher. Speaking of Humble, I mentioned the Humble Bandai Namco bundle in my last video, but I thought I should mention that once again, because again, this is a very good Humble bundle this week. If you pay a dollar, that'll get you Pac-Man 256, Ace Combat, Assault Horizon, and a game that I always talk about, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. That is an excellent game. Highly recommend you at least pay a dollar. The Beat the Average actually has has gone up since I last talked about it. I believe when I talked about this bundle at first, it was like at $6.60. Now it's up to $9.24, and that'll get you Warhammer 40k, Eternal Crusade, Project Cars, and Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 3 Full Burst. There's also more games to be added to that tier in three days. If you pay $15 or more, that'll also get you Tales of Zestiria and Project Cars On Demand Pack, which includes 12 pieces of DLC for that game. And then if you pay $35 or more, you'll also get Little Nightmares, which is a pre-order type. At the very least, pay a dollar to get Ace Combat Assault Horizon and Enslaved Odyssey to the West, and then the Beat the Average isn't all too bad either. And then if you're into JRPGs, pay $15 and get Tales of Zestiria and all the Project Cars DLC as well. Nonetheless, a really good Humble Bundle this week, and I would definitely recommend you guys to check it out. Next up, Bundle Stars has got Borderlands 2, the Game of the Year Edition, down to $9.19. This obviously includes Borderlands 2, as well as all of the DLC content. This is a game that a lot of you guys probably already own. However, if you recently got your PC, this is an older title, maybe you don't have it, but it's still a great game with a ton of content, especially with the Game of the Year edition. The base game of Borderlands 2 will take you a long time to complete, like we're talking 40 hours, and then there's a lot of replayability with different characters, but then you throw in all of the DLC as well, and that's going to add even more content, and it's just a really good bang for your buck if you're looking for the most amount of content possible for your dollar. $9 for a game that is, what, four years old at this point, I guess maybe a little high to some people but it's still a fantastic game if you've never played borderlands jump right into borderlands 2 first person shooter rpg hybrid and a really enjoyable one a lot of people see borderlands as a game that you can only play with friends i personally don't agree with that i've completed borderlands 2 solo and i had a really good experience and i think most people will enjoy it solo if you just give it a chance next up nuvum has got middle earth shadow of mordor the game of the year edition 75 percent off for five dollars i've mentioned it all the time in these videos and whenever it's available i have to mention it because Shadow of Mordor is a fantastic game and for five dollars for the game of the year edition that is a great deal. It's an open world action adventure game. The open world isn't that massive say something like Witcher 3 or the Fallout games. It's kind of more contained. I think that works better for the style of game that Shadow of Mordor is and in my opinion the highlight of the game is the combat. Very fast paced, very smooth. Think of something like Batman Arkham. It works really well and on PC if you have the hardware to run it this game can look really really good and considering it is an older game at this point 2014 it's not too hard to run say 
if you have something like a GTX 970, if you have a 1070, you'll blow through this game. If you have something like an RX 480, Shadow of Mordor won't be a problem, but it'll look really, really good. And yeah, the Game of the Year Edition includes all of the DLC content as well, so for $5, a really solid pickup. Finally, over on Steam, they are having a Deus Ex sale. Deus Ex Human Revolution is 75% off, down to $5. And then Deus Ex Mankind Divided is 70% off, down to $18. Now, I've been seeing a lot of deals on Mankind Divided recently, and I was very surprised as why it's already down to just $18. Bucks. Well, news came out that the Deus Ex franchise is actually on hold for a little bit, and part of the reason is due to the fact that Mankind Divided actually didn't sell up to par, which is a shame because I thought Mankind Divided was a pretty good game on PC. It did have some issues, but at this point, it is working really well, and I think for 18 bucks, it's a very good pickup. The game does kind of end abruptly, and in my opinion, overall, Human Revolution is probably a better game, so if you just want to get into the franchise, I would say just pick up Human Revolution, but most people have already played HR, so if you want to jump into Mankind Divided for $18, I do think it's a pretty good deal. I should mention that for some reason, I have this inkling that Deus Ex Mankind Divided at some point is gonna be one of the Humble monthly games. I can easily see it. Humble Bundle has a pretty good relationship with Square Enix, so it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. So if you're not completely eager to play Deus Ex Mankind Divided, maybe wait a little bit, and I could see this being an entry game for Humble Monthly one of these months. Whether it be next month or the month after that, I could see it happen, but that's just speculation on my part, so just take it with a grain of salt. So that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.